guys, how are you doing? So the little surprise I was talking about was, um, it's a surprise for Mark actually. So as you'd have known, if you watch my videos and especially if you watch Project Bolt, uh, I worked with Mark to help him build Project Bolt over the winter. Um, so the car's all done now. We've done a few track days in it. It's an absolutely fantastic car. Uh, and I just wanted to do something uh, to thank Mark firstly, um, but also to make the car a little bit unique. So uh, Bolt is purely a track car, so it doesn't have any identity as such. It doesn't have a VIN number, build number, registration number or anything like that. It's just used for track days. Now what I thought would be really cool would be to get kind of a chassis plate or a VIN plate made up for it. Uh, I've got uh, obviously Piao, which is my um, Rover Mini Cooper S Sport 5. It's a John Cooper built car, John Cooper garages. Uh, if you know them, whenever they do a conversion or a car build, uh, they put a plate on the uh, cross member by the driver's seat and it will say John Cooper garages for tuning and technical information, blah, 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 address. And they give it a build number. So it's either a car number or it's a conversion number. Um, so what I thought would be great would be to replicate something like that for Bolt. Um, so I scanned the plate from PL, uh, put it into Photoshop, changed it around a little bit, uh, tried to make it look similar to it. I didn't want to. The idea is not to copy it. Um, it's really just to kind of do a bit of a bit of a replica of it, really, uh, and put my own spin on it as well. And it's just something that makes the car a little bit unique. And it's kind of sat on the back burner for a while. I'm gutted. I wanted to get it done for Mark actually. Um, so uh, so yeah, I kind of forgot about it for a while. Uh, literally a few weeks ago um see this new one come up essex mini um with interest started watching it actually because um the guy does powder coat in and he does zinc or metal plating on the parts he's taking off and rebuilding as well does a really really good job of it actually the zinc plating is absolutely spot on powder coating second to none so he's got a little oven set up in his uh, workshop and it literally is an oven um, and he shows you how to do it so if you want to know how to get into powder coating or zinc plating or anything like that go and check out his channel it's Chris uh, the channel is Essex Mini uh, and he's rebuilding a mini from scratch as well he's got a fair way to go yet yeah, he's only just started so it's a good time to go over there have a look and subscribe actually um, you're, you're not sort of starting halfway through it or anything like that you'll see it right from the beginning but yeah Chris is doing an absolutely fantastic job uh, go over there check it out but what I did notice from watching his videos uh, his wife I think it's his wife or partner or something like that they do uh, make up metal plates and plaques as well so uh, I saw that I thought oh brilliant I'll have to ask him about getting this plate VIN plate done for Bolt so uh, sent him a message via email he said send me over what kind of what you've got in mind the artwork I sent that over he tweaked it about sent it back within a matter of hours i approved it and uh literally a few days later the plates turned up with me and they are absolutely fantastic so i'll show you what i mean so these are the plates here so the idea i think is one will go in the car and maybe one underneath the bonnet somewhere so put double-sided sticky on that this plate will probably be riveted to the floor do apologize about the sticky tape over here doesn't look that great with it on there that's because it's uh, got mark's home address on so uh, we are gdpr compliant on this channel <laughs> so if you live in the new uk you'll probably know exactly what that's about but it's basically new data protection laws assume they don't have it in america and that sort of thing or not to the extent we have, do have here anyway so i thought it'd be a bit rude actually to show mark's address without uh, without his prior consent to everyone so do apologize like that but it, uh, you get the feel of it anyway so you can see we changed the court i changed the cooper logo for draper uh, mark draper motorsport for tuning and technical data contact uh, it's got my signature down here as well so I've managed to replicate that as well and like the john cooper cars john cooper either say they either say car number if it was built as a cooper from standard or its conversion number if it was converted later so this is uh, car number, uh, it's Bolt, so the build is Bolt, uh, 18 is the year it was built or completed, 2018. It's an F model and it's the first one we've ever built, so it's 001. 
and who knows in the future there might be a bolt 002 or there might be something else but just thought there was a bit of fun to add a little bit of uniqueness to the car as well I know it's only a track car but it doesn't have any identity so it's nice to put something out on it like that just finishing touches uh, also um, Chris like I say I, don't, I haven't known him very long actually just through Facebook a few messages here and there but what a really really nice guy so I've mentioned in previous videos moving house at the moment or in the process of it as well hopefully it all goes ahead um, Chris sent me a little gift along with these plaques as well so I paid for these fair and square and Chris sent me this free of charge little gift for my new double garage hopefully when it all goes ahead and I move in so thanks Chris that's really really kind of you you know really really nice of you so this is the sort of thing uh, Chris can get done for you he can have custom made stuff uh, or he's got a load of stuff like old vintage signs SO logos, Castrol, all sorts of things. Uh, as you can see, this is metal plated. Um, looks really cool. So this will be an old magazine or a paper cutout from years ago, the Motor Magazine or something like that. September the 20th, 1961. Looks really cool. That will go in my new garage. I'll put it up in here for now, actually. But um, that will go on the wall in my new garage. So, yeah, thanks for that, Chris. Very, very kind of you. And just one last mention, so it's Chris, his channel is Essex Mini, uh, go over there, check him out, if you like what he does, subscribe to it, and uh, tell him I sent you over as well, so, <laughs> excellent, cheers guys, thank you.